Dallas police are holding a suspect in the president's assassination, 24-year-old Lee H. Oswald. Shortly after the president and Governor Connolly were shot, police chased Oswald into a movie theater. Police said he fired at them, killing patrolman J.D. Tippett. A rifle was found in a building where he worked. Oswald once served in the United States Marines. In 1959, he was in Moscow, where he said he wanted to become a Russian citizen, saying that leaving this country was like getting out of a prison. But last summer, he was back in the United States. In New Orleans, police arrested him after he got into a fight while distributing literature for the Fair Play for Cuba Committee, an organization that at least sympathizes with the Castro government. At that time, Oswald was interviewed by station WDSU-TV in New Orleans. Here is some of that interview. No, sir, I'm not a communist, and uh, I think that the, uh, the uh, red herring and so forth is rather uh, uh, ridiculous to toss into this conversation. And are you a Marxist? Well, I have uh, studied Marxist philosophy, yes, sir, and also other philosophers. But are you a Marxist? I think you did admit on an earlier radio interview that you, uh, that you consider yourself a Marxist. Well, I would very definitely say that I, uh, I uh, am a Marxist. That is correct. But I, that does not mean, however, that I'm a, a uh, communist. What is the difference between the two? Well, there's a great deal of difference. That several uh, American parties in several countries are based on Marxism, such as Ghana. Uh, Ghana. Uh, certain countries have uh, characteristics uh, of a socialist system, such as Great Britain with its uh, socialized medicine. Uh, these, then, are the differences between an outright communist country and countries which adhere to leftist or Marxist uh, uh, principles. In your work with the Fair Play for Cuba Committee, uh, what are you advocating? We advocate restoration of diplomatic trade and tourist relations with Cuba. 